Welcome back to Code Octanium Blitz Week, a new review every day, all week. And this is the new Baku Box. What I like about this one is it is wrapped in shrink wrap plastic. Hopefully this will help cut down on the thefts I've seen from the uh, original Nuvus Troia and Gandalian Invaders packages. Wow, they straight up have a zip tie on this thing, keeping this Bakugan in there. They're serious this time. Anyway, they come in three colors. This one is in red, and um, they come in packs of six, but each one contains a different attribute. So there's six attributes for three colors of boxes. This one contains what I believe to be a Chaos Flash Ingram, so we'll see once I open it up. Um, on the back, you can see it also has a design here where it can be used to connect two together in order to use them for a match. Now, I only have one here, but if I can find somebody else with one, I'll see just how well that works. And this is the Mechtanium Surge Bakugan Battle Brawlers Carrying Case. It has a bit of a different shape from the one from last season, and um, also has a lot of these uh, little circles in here that tell you how many Bakugan it can hold. According to this, it can hold about 18 Bakugan, which is about as much as some previous ones, maybe a bit less even. The uh, compartments are in a bit of a weird shape. It had a, uh, yep, I was right, it had a Flash Ingram inside of it. So, opening it up here, you can see that the uh, compartments are a bit of a strange shape. You can stash some cards in here, but then you just have these weird kind of compartments here that I don't really know what they're doing. I mean, it, it, um... You've got some spots for Bakugan, and I imagine you can throw your traps and some of your BMAs in here, some of your uh, your Baku Nano and your Battle Gear in here. I think that's supposed to be the idea. We'll just have to see. And when if you stack some cards here, you can have like a little star of Bakugan here, I guess. Um, one of the other things it advertises is that it can be used as a rolling mat. I mean, it looks okay, but with all the texture on here, this is where you're supposed to put your card, and it just has this big embossed Bakugan thing. It's got all this texture on it. I honestly would never use this as a rolling mat unless you were like on dirt. <laughs> if you were like on dirt or mud or something, I suppose this would be preferable, but pretty much every other surface, like a table, floor, maybe even carpet would be preferable to this. So I wouldn't use it that way. That and you have to dump the contents of the package in order to use it that way. Actually, this case can hold a lot more than it gives itself credit for. You can see I've actually managed to fit like three or four Bakugan into the spots where uh, there's only one or two little rings to hold them with. And this is Chaos Flash Ingram. It is a member of the uh, Cyclone series, which means it spins around when it opens. This one is 830Gs. It has the uh, standard ratchet device that allows that top part of the body to spin around. And like the original Ingram, it can fold up its bird head and reveal its face underneath here, which is something they didn't really advertise in the original card. It does have this broad kind of hammerhead beak here to hold down the wings when it's closed, but <laughs> that's uh, kind of uh, kind of silly. It has the standard top plate and feet for its metal parts, and um, otherwise is is. Uh, basically a lot of Ingram. It's another spin top, which means it works with uh, any spin top support cards, like uh, Alpha Percival Cyclone, I believe, is one that allows you to re-roll. And that is the new Bakugan carrying case. Now, a lot of targets and stuff have this right now, because the original section for the previous cases from Gundalian Invaders haven't been rotated out, so if any of them have been accidentally put on the shelves, that's probably your opportunity to get some early MS. So, this is the carrying case. It boasts a lot of carrying capacity, but for now still isn't really the um, pocket size thing I'm looking for, and it can't carry any Mectagan, and certainly cannot carry the Mectagan Titan. They don't love me. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, big guy. Tune in next time for uh, something that I've been delaying for a long time. Anyway, this is Kodak signing off.